Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. One of the hardest things for an NBA player to do is to make the jump from star to superstar. After making his first all-star team in 2023, Tyrese Halliburton wants more in the 2023-24 season. In just over a month of play, the Indiana Pacers lead the league in offensive rating, something that's riddled with Halliburton's fingerprints. After signing Halliburton to a five-year, $260 million extension, Indiana hedged all their bets on the 23-year-old guard. So far, he's exceeded all expectations, becoming an elite scorer and an immaculate playmaker who's helped develop the team's chemistry. With solid depth surrounding him, this may be the best opportunity the Pacers have had to prove they're a winning team. A deep offensive bag. 2023-24 Statistics 26.9 points per game, 11.9 assists per game, 52.1 field goal percent. As incredible a floor general as Halliburton is, he's also the team's leading scorer by a decent margin. Halliburton's offensive attack works so well because of his ability to score at multiple levels. He's effective in the paint and has a steady jump shot, one so good he's draining 44.7% of his threes this season. His patented set shot three-pointer extends to 30 feet and beyond, the slow release point is tough for defenders to time for blocks and strong contests. His consistency is also worth noting, as once Halliburton sees a few shots go in, the floodgates quickly open up. In a record-setting victory over the Hawks on November 21, he knocked down seven threes in the third quarter, a Pacers record for one quarter, en route to 37 points and 16 dimes. In year four, Halliburton's already mastered efficiency. His production is staggering. He's shooting 51% from the field, but only commits 2.5 turnovers per game. Bereft of many household names on the roster, Halliburton leads the league's best offense. Indiana ranks first in points per game, 128.4, and assists, 30.2. His constant energy and engagement as a passer have a trickle-down effect on the entire roster most clearly seen in the points distribution. While Halliburton's averaging a career-high 26.9 points per game, Indiana also has seven other double-digit scorers in Miles Turner, 16.6, Buddy Heald, 13.6, Benedict Matherin, 13.2, Obi Toppin, 13.1, Bruce Brown, 12.7, Aaron Nesmith, 11.2, and Jalen Smith, 10.0. Playoff Prospects Team record, 11-8. Currently, Indiana sits 6th in the Eastern Conference with an 11-8 record. Given Indiana's offensive prowess so far, they may eventually end up with home court advantage in the first round. There's plenty of time left before the end of the season, and the Pacers could even look to bolster their roster ahead of the trade deadline to improve the team, especially on the defensive side. Should they make the playoffs, Halliburton's biggest test yet will be in full effect. Though Halliburton has been elite so far in the regular season, his ability to translate those skills in the playoffs is a whole new ballgame. The Pacers haven't won a series since 2014, making a potential appearance all the more important for the franchise. Their offense is as good as it gets, but defense wins championships and Indiana will need to improve on that end as well. Indiana's Franchise Player Pacers' First Superstar in a Decade the Pacers are perpetually scrappy and hardworking as a unit, but it's been a while since they have had a real franchise player to build around. Paul George was their last truly impactful player and even though he tried as best he could to dismantle the LeBron James-led Miami Heat, it wasn't enough to bring the Pacers over the top. The times are different now. They had had a tough time building around DeMantis Sabonis and wound up trading him for Halliburton in 2022, signaling they were ready to hand the keys over to a new young star. Halliburton was just 21 when he arrived in Indiana and with their slew of young talent and a capable center in Turner, the team has the tools to push through to the next level. The Pacers only won 35 games a year ago, but his flashes of brilliance were evident. Now, it appears as if everything's coming to fruition. Halliburton is far from reaching the greatness Reggie Miller achieved with the team in the late 1990s to early 2000s, but if he continues to lead the team the way he is, 
it shouldn't be long before Pacers Faithful begin mentioning the two in the same breath. Let us know what you think about the entire thing, in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.